Welcome to quantitative aptitude video on problems on boards and streams from careerride.com. In this video, we'll be discussing various problems from the topic boards and streams, which is very frequently asked in management aptitude examinations all across the nation. It is also asked in bank exams as well as in exams conducted by various government bodies. So we'll proceed now. Uh, we have tried to cover five different kind of problems and after solving these problems uh, we hope that you would be in position to attempt any question from this topic so let's proceed first question if a man rows at the rate of 15 km per hour in still water and his rate against the current is 25 km per hour then the man's rate along the current is x find x we need to focus on the fact that what is the formula which is to be used in this question. Now we know that the speed in still water is given as 15 km per hour. We have to know the formula as well for speed in still water. That is 1 by 2 into A plus B. So we will get the value of A plus B from here. That is 2 into 15 is equal to 30. A plus B is equal to 30. Now speed upstream B is equal to 25 kilometers per hour which is given in the question so when b is given and a plus b is given we can easily calculate the speed downstream that is a is equal to 30 minus 25 is equal to 5 km per hour this question is a very easy question but such questions are very frequently asked in various examinations all across the nation and all you need to know is the formula formula is the key to solve questions in this topic second question a man can row 15 km per hour in still water. If in a river running at 3 km per hour, it takes him 50 minutes to row to a place and come back. How far off is this place? Now, the speed in still water, the formula for this we know 1 by 2 a plus b is equal to 15 km per hour. So, we will get the value of a plus b that is 30. Now, the speed of stream, the formula for the speed of stream is 1 by 2 into a minus b. So it is also given 3 km per hour. So we get A minus B is equal to 6 km per hour. Now from here we got the two equations. We will go on and solve these two equations to get the value of A and B. The value of A is equal to 18 and the value of B is equal to 12. The value of A would be the speed upstream and the value of B would be the speed downstream. And we know the time taken in the overall journey that is 50 minutes. So we will convert it into hours 50 upon 60 x by 18 is the time taken in the case of upstream and x by 12 is the time taken for downstream so x by 18 plus x by 12 is equal to 50 by 60 we will solve for x and get the answer that is 6 kilometers third question a boat covers a certain distance downstream in two hours while it come back in three hours if the speed of the stream be 6 km per hour, what is the speed of the boat in still water? Now, we have to find the speed of the boat in still water. So, we will assume it as x km per hour. And we know the speed upstream. We actually don't know it. So, as we have assumed that the speed of the boat in still water is x km per hour. And we know the speed of the stream. So, for upstream, we will minus uh, the speed of the boat in still water in the speed of the stream that is x minus 6 km per hour we have subtracted this just because in case of upstream you have to travel against the speed so it gets neutralized so we have to subtract and in case of downstream it goes parallelly so addition takes place so when it comes to speed downstream we'll add x plus 6 km per hour we'll add the speed of boat in still water to the speed of stream so we get the equation x plus 6 into 2 as it said that uh, the boat covers a certain distance downstream in 2 hours so downstream x plus 6 into 2 and upstream x minus 6 into 3 as it says in question comes back in 3 hours so we get the value x is equal to 30 km per hour that is the speed of the boat in still water is 30 km per hour and the fourth question A motor boat whose speed is 30 km per hour in still water goes 60 km downstream and comes back in total of 9 hours. 
the speed of the stream in kilometers per hour is x then find x let the speed of the boat in still water be x and now the speed of the still water is given 30 kilometers per hour speed what would be the speed upstream so as we already said that in case of upstream we subtract so 30 that, that, that is the speed in still water minus the speed of the boat in still water 30 minus x and in case of downstream we'll add 30 plus x this is similar thing which we did in last question and i told you the reason that why we subtract in upstream upstream and why we add in downstream so we know that the time taken in the whole journey is 9 hours so this is 9 written here then we'll calculate the time in upstream and downstream so in uh, downstream it's 60 upon 30 plus x 60 is the total distance and speed downstream is 30 plus x and 60 plus 60 uh, upon 30 minus x that is 60 is the total distance cover and 30 minus x is the speed upstream so we get the value x square is equal to 500 then we'll go and solve this we get the value x is equal to 22.3 kilometers per hour which is the answer for this question the last question a man can row 20 kilometers per hour in still water it takes him four times as long to row up as to row down the river find the rate of the stream let the man's rate upstream be x and as the question says it takes him four times as long to row up as to row down the river so man's rate upstream is x so man's rate downstream would be 4x this we have deduced from question now the speed of the boat in still water is given 20 kilometers per hour that is 1 by 2 a plus b is equal to 20 kilometers so a plus b's value we'll get as 40 so what is the value of a 4x what is the value of b x we'll equate this 4x and x here and get the value of x that is 8 kilometers per hour so we'll get the value of speed upstream 32 kilometers per hour and speed downstream 8 kilometers per hour now the speed of the stream is equal to 1 by 2 into a minus b this was the formula we studied in the first question the speed of the stream so 1 by 2 and we'll put the value 32 minus 8 which comes up to 12 kilometers per hour we have solved five different kind of questions in this video and i hope uh, this video would be of great help to all you guys when you go on and attack problems of ports and streams thank you